Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is your friendly neighborhood Oxhorn and here I am today on my Brotherhood of Steel Alt inside of Vault 88 to show you how to get the operational board for each of the different workbenches and each of the main wings of Vault 88 that can sometimes be kind of tricky. There are also two secret entrances and exits to this vault which I'm going to show you how to get and uh, I'll also show you all of the different nooks and crannies of this place. Um, now I do respect your time so I'm going to do my very best to edit this down to be as short as possible while not skipping any relevant info but this may be a little bit long. So let's get started. So when you enter Vault 88 you see this really cool um, blueprint of the entire construction zone and so on the far right there you see that that is where we entered we went through the entry the screening the security and the reactor and we're now in construction site a so uh, if we put ourselves in the position of entering the construction site for the first time if we turn to the left we find an excavation area and that's right here so this is the excavation area on the left and this goes to the north sector now to open this up as always you just pop open the workshop and start to remove it. Now you notice that there's a big green barrier in front of us and that's because the rest of this facility still needs to be opened up. All of those workshops need to be opened up. Now let me just orient you. So we came out through there. This is the north sector. Let's look at the map here. And the one right next to it, to the left of it, is uh, leads to, I believe, the northeast. And there it is, the northeast sector. I already scrapped it and opened it up. And then the third and final one is directly across from the entrance, and those are just denoted by two excavation tunnels. But that is actually called the East Sector. One tube is blocked, and the other tube, you can actually scrap some of the rubble, and it opens it up. So let's explore each one by one, and I'll show you where to find the, work, the workshop chip so that you can enable the workshop. Since you don't have the workshop yet, there's really on only one direction. As you continue walking, you'll uh, you'll kill a bunch of mole rats, and then you'll enter this subway terminal. And you need to go around the car to this opening with the blue glow uh, to find the workshop. Walk on up here, and this is where the north sector workbench is. And now to activate the workbench, you actually have to have a control piece. But the control piece doesn't appear on your map as a quest marker until you actually interact with the workshop. There, it alerts you that you have to have a control board. And now, on your map, you'll find a... Uh, find the North Sector control board, and then now you're, you're going to find it on your map. So, let's go find the control board. And there it is. Bingo. Kill the ghouls. All right, ghouls are dead, so uh, now we need to bring the control board back to the workshop. Remember, this one with the blue glow is the one that leads to the workshop for the north side. And here we go. Bingo, now you can start scrapping. So you can either go on to explore the other two wings or uh, start scrapping stuff around here. Remember that this workshop is connected to the other workshop. It's all one big settlement. Uh, there are just four different workshops, each connected to a different wing, but they all are part of the exact same settlement. All right, this path over here goes on to the northeast section, and so we're gonna actually save that for later. But uh, over here, we've got an entire limestone wall we can scrap, and this connects the loop that we just walked, but it also reveals an enemy. Ah. So yeah, be careful what you decide to scrap. <laughs> uh, enemies hide right behind these walls. Now while I'm here, let me talk about this unique looking stone right that, uh, there. That is actually uranium, and you need to scrap it because later on in the quest line, um, you're gonna need quite a lot of nuclear material to complete the quest. So just as you go around scrapping stuff, make sure that you scrap all of the uh, uranium. Not only will it remove the rat effect 
that's uh, plaguing you while you're exploring here. But it also gives you a bunch of nuclear material that you can use later on. It's a great source of nuclear material. Then once the uh, once the uh, death claw is dead, we can scrap this one to open it up, and this connects you with the beginning to the north section. And that finishes the loop. So if you go left, that brings us back to the beginning where we started. Uh, it's right up there. That's where we came in. And if you go right, that leads down to the tunnels. And let's go that way really quick because there's something down the tunnels I want to show you. If you come back around to this area where you found the control board and you look over there, I mean, it may not look very auspicious, but then if you go forward, you find this barricade uh, and you can actually hop into your uh, workshop mode and scrap it. If you do, that opens up uh, one of two secret entrances. This one comes out of sewer. And here we go. This is where it leads out. Should be a very familiar sight. Right next to Fallon's, uh, Fallon's clothing and then this parking garage where you find that magazine for the power armor, uh, the pink one. So, very cool. Okay, here we are back at the atrium area. Um, instead of taking the shortcuts, I don't want to confuse you. I'm going to come back here at the beginning of each new sector so that you don't get confused. So we've completed the north sector, and we found the, uh, the, the secret passage down that way. Now let's go on to the excavation area at the far left-hand bottom corner of the map. That's going to be sector northeast, the northeast sector, and that's right around the corner. Remember, we found a, uh, a back door to this area, but this is the front door, so let's go on in and find the control panel and the workshop. And the first thing we come upon is this rusty ladder all the way down. Uh, take a look at that and remember that that's going to be a good landmark to orient yourself by later Especially when we start opening up side walls and doing shortcuts um, And this leads just into one area until we start doing some excavating So just uh, follow it past this pillar here around the corner and keep on going All right after climbing down some steps and fighting through swarm after swarm of mole rat, we find this sort of bricked up building. Looks like we're going into an old building of uh, Boston, but you just pass right on through it and continue in through the rock until you open up into this large area here. And this is where the workshop is. Now you can go down the ramp and if you were to go straight, that leads on to the shortcut that we discovered when we completed the north sector. But uh, to continue on with the northeast sector, we have to go on down here, and you see that this is where we find our workshop. There it is. Activate it, and that's going to put a, uh, a ping on the map for the control board, and now we can go back and find the control board. So go all the way back, and the control board is back under the stairs in this room. Bingo. Now that we have it, we can bring it back to the workshop and activate it. And there we go. We have now activated the Northeast workshop and we can start getting to scrapping. Um, and I'm gonna go through all this and scrap it, but uh, let's continue uh, excavating the Northeast sector to see what we open up and get ready. Who knows what's behind the limestone wall? Oh. Well, that was uh, less climactic than I thought it was. Oh, that, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? Yeah, doggone scorpions getting in my face. Holy cow. Ah! Well, that was not easy. <laughs> uh, when I did this on my main, it uh, it took me longer than I thought it would. It surprised me at how difficult it was. And this is my alt, and my alt is not beefy at all. And uh, I'm surprised I actually lived through that. Anyway, this chamber keeps on going. And it leads us right back to the northeast sector. 
So do you remember this? Uh, we basically just went in a huge loop. Uh, this is where we jumped down here. Let me let me try and orient you so that you know where we're at. Um, there, see that over there? That's where we came from. The atrium is just up those steps. Then you come down the steps, we went around here, and then we went that way. That brought us to that brick building that was crumbled and to the shortcut to the north sector, and then we went through scrapping everything, and that led us out here. Now, there's um, one more little secret back door that I want you to be aware of that many people miss, and that's because it's kind of tricky. If you come around the corner here and you look up, it helps if you're on a jetpack. You can scrap this uh, limestone right here. You kind of got to get close to it. And this opens up a shortcut to the east sector. You can see that the water pump that's in the east sector is right there. But um, as I'm going to do, I'm gonna go back to the atrium and start there just so I can orient you for the east sector. And there's one more uh, piece of the northeast sector that I wanna show you before we leave. So let's actually head back to that ghoul infested, uh, broken down brick building. All right, here we are at that uh, broken down brick building and we'll go on up just like we did previously. But instead of going on through the building, let's head on up. <clears throat> and then another flight of stairs. And uh, now that we have access to the workshop, we can actually scrap this. So let's hop, let's pop open the workshop and scratch this to see what we find. And look at that. Oh! <laughs> ah. Okay. Uh, so we find this uh, little shack area. This this is a store. Uh, lots of stuff to scrap. Lots of loot everywhere. And it's also another secret entrance. You discover a new location, the University Point Pharmacy, and that's because this uh, this entrance leads us right to University Point, right? So here's University Point on in here. That should be familiar to most of you. I don't have it discovered because this is a new character of mine. Uh, and then there's, uh, there's the road. So that's everything in the Northeast sector. Let's uh, head on back to the atrium. All right, well, here we are back at the atrium. We've cleared the north sector. We've cleared the northeast sector. Now it's time to clear the east sector. Let's find that workshop. Let's get that workbench and let's move on. By the way, to save yourself from work later on, the control chip is right on in here. All right, this one was super easy. Oh. Whoa! Yeesh. <laughs> that glowing Mirelurk was tougher than the Queen. I guess it does help that I used a uh, Gatling laser to take her down. Well, as I was saying, that was easy. <laughs> Uh, the workshop is right in here, and I guess uh, the exploring part of it they made easy because it's, well, they've got a Marler Queen in here. Um, so, you know, just to recap, as we were coming on in, we just so happened to pass by the chip, which was in this side room over here. And so we grabbed it before we moved on to the rest of the facility. There we go. We now have access to the workshop here. Uh, now, if you'll remember from when we did the northeast section, this uh, water pump and water purifier should be familiar because the shortcut to the northeast section is right over here. This is that ledge we jumped up on to scrap that big wall which led on in here. So the east section connects almost directly to the northeast section. And uh, once you get back here, you'll want to uh, connect a power source to this water pump because this is going to give you 100 water for your settlement. 
Uh, I did an entire video on this, so I'm not going to bother with it here. Once you gain access to the workshop, head on back to this room where we got the control chip. And uh, you can scrap some uranium over here, lots of uranium. And then, of course, this big wall, which, oh no, opens up more of those stupid scorpions. And then in the back of the chamber, we've got some more to scrap. Let's get rid of that uranium. It's killing us. Don't forget to look up. And then this final wall here. Ooh, look at all that uranium. It's a treasure trove. Let's get it. Freaking scorpions, man. All right, once you clear the room of scorpions and uh, scrap that last uranium, there are two paths before you and also this big pillar, which you can scrap. Uh, there's a limestone wall to the right and there's a limestone wall to the left. Let's go ahead and scrap the left here. Look, more uranium. The east section is where you go to get the uranium. Let's get to scrapping. And back in this corner, you get some cracked Deathclaw eggs, which uh, are going to be great for crafting, so be sure to store those in the workshop and to not scrap them. All right, so down the, uh, the uh, left path, we had a bunch of uranium, a bunch of uh, mole rats, and an abandoned Deathclaw nest. <clears throat> and then that's where it ends, which leaves only the right path left to explore. So let's head on over and scrap that wall, too. Ooh, and look at that. Looks like we got ourselves a robot. Oh. Take them down. Well, that's the nice thing about big targets. You don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to have good aim. Ah, uh, fusion cores. All right, uh, well, we certainly have a lot of uranium, so let's get to scrapping that. And that's it. It's uh, the final dead end, ladies and gentlemen. We got rid of all the uranium. We scrapped everything in this room we possibly could. And that is where the vault ends. So there you go. That's the entire facility. You now know how to get uh, the workshops and the control cards, the control chips for all of the different workshops. You now know how to combine them all together into one perfect functioning facility. And you now too can go ahead and claim your vault. It also needs to be noted that uh, if you're ever short on resources, just go ahead and start claiming the vault and doing some excavating. We got so much bone and rubber, and look at all of that concrete we got. 1,055 concrete just from doing all of that excavating. Holy cow, that was a lot of resources we got. 404 nuclear material. Ladies and gentlemen, this was empty, and we got 404 nuclear material from all of that underground uranium, not to mention the plastic and the rubber, and wow. Look at that steel, 3,289 steel. All right, look, and even wood. All right, I won't belabor the point, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, very cool that you can use this to get a ton of resources. And that's what it's like to excavate the entire thing. Anyway, I hope this video was useful. Uh, I hope I didn't belabor the point or linger too long as I tend to do in my videos. So let me know in the comments below what you thought. Be sure to subscribe for more Vault Tech Workshop content. Boy, howdy, do I have a lot coming out for you. So stay tuned for more and be sure to subscribe for more content like this. I, I work really hard on it and I need your subscriptions to keep this channel alive. At the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just glad that you're watching. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all really soon.